So the first rule in business is you must add value to society in some way. Old school is just make a profit, who cares if it adds value? New school is predominantly social mission. What is your social mission for your company? You see where this all starts? You should be going out in the world saying, how can I change the world and make it a better place? Jamie McIntyre, while in his mid-twenties, found himself in an unenviable position. He was completely broke, in debt to the tune of $150,000, with no job, no prospects, and sleeping on a friend's couch. He had arrived at this point in his life by working hard, long hours in a business he had built from the ground up. He thought he was doing everything right, everything that he had been taught by his parents and teachers that he needed to do to be successful in life. Yet here he was, broke. The business he had built was in tatters. At this point, Jamie decided there simply must be an easier way. There must be something he had done wrong or something he was missing that the wealthy and successful knew. He began to study any successful people he could get access to, to try and work out exactly what it is that makes them this way and how he could replicate that success in his own life. Jamie came to realise that there is no big secret, but there are some common strategies and a certain way of thinking that aren't taught in the outdated education system that is currently available at schools and universities. And it's these key strategies that mean the difference between the average person working a 40-hour week to make a modest salary and those elite few who achieve financial abundance and live the lifestyle that most people dream of. Within less than five years, Jamie had rebuilt his life using the strategies he had discovered. He had gone from flat broke to a self-made millionaire while still in his 20s and was even nominated for Young Australian of the Year in 1999 for his achievements. Since then, Jamie has made it his life's work to share the strategies he used to get him out of debt and generate massive wealth. He decided the world needed a modern day 21st century education system taught by those with a PhD in results, not just theory, an education for life. So he founded a company to do exactly that. Over the past 12 years, 21st century education has educated over 450,000 people worldwide. What do millionaires do differently? How do they think differently? How do they produce a different result when they have the same opportunity, live in the same economy, why do some people outperform? One of his books, What I Didn't Learn at School But Wish I Had, has become a bestseller. And he has now written many other titles on the various strategies he has used to get where he is today. Founder of over a dozen companies that turn over $40 million annually and employ up to 100 staff, Jamie has also been guest speaker at numerous events and programs, including the Sky News Business Channel's Your Money, Your Call program and the Financial Education Summit, where he shared the stage with some of the world's leading entrepreneurs, including Sir Richard Branson, Tim Ferriss, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mark Boris, Eddie Maguire, Danny Green, Ruslan Kogan and Randy Zuckerberg. Jamie also has significant agricultural interests, owning rural farms in the New England region of New South Wales, near Glen Innes. Jamie is also the founder of the 21st Century Australia Party and Movement, which is also fielding Senate seats. He is a federal candidate for the seat of New England against Tony Windsor and Barnaby Joyce. His passion is now to teach as many people as possible the various trading, property, business and mindset techniques used by some of the world's wealthiest people. Thousands of people have already benefited from these courses and are now living a better life with more money, more time and less stress than they were before.